welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk the biggest disappointment so far this season. Yes, it's early days. We're only in, done two races, go into the third in a week's time in Australia. But yeah, the biggest disappointment for me of this season has been racing balls. In my prediction, I said this team would finish six in the constructors. I expected a podium. Um, yeah, I've got to say it's been a quite disastrous start for the new rebranded team name. They've changed from AlphaTauri to Racing Bulls. And yeah, it's not been a good start. I expected high things. Um, it's early days, but yeah. So if we look at the performance, obviously Bahrain was mauled by team orders. A lot of divide in the team. Um, there was no points on the board, which should have been the main focus and disappointment for the team. But yeah, they implied team orders. Ricardo came through. He didn't score points. They should have reverted them. It would have been case closed. They didn't. Caused massive controversy. Yuki died bomb Ricardo. Ricardo um, said something about it. Oh, yeah, he called him a helmet. So, yeah. Then we jump into Saudi. Yuki did a really good qualifying. But then, again, in the race, it was disappointing for racing balls. And in Saudi, Daniel Ricardo, I don't know where he was. He was absolutely missing. Massive long pit stop. Uh, spun in turn one. It's just been disappointing. I expected a lot more. These were going to be my surprise. Like, I expect a podium. It was a bold prediction. And I just expected the team, you know, to kick on. They, they ended the season well. They were 10th in 2023. They've fought back to 8th. Nearly beat Williams. But they've got to kick on. I mean, they've scored no points so far. Um, yeah. Be interesting to know who's your biggest disappointment. Is it Lewis Hamilton? Is it Racing Bulls? Is it Williams? Maybe. They've not scored points either. Two rounds down, no points on the board for Racing Bulls. It's poor. And two races this season, Daniel Ricciardo has not looked good. He's got like ambitions to get back to Red Bull. He's not looked good. Yuki Tsunoda's had his number. Um... But Yuki needs to convert the points. He's doing well in qualifying. But the races, whether it's strategy, team orders, Magnussen being a roadblock um, at Saudi. Yeah, just disappointing. I did expect more. Of course, it's early days. Um, they've got to get on the points board. Because the five teams are set in. Red Bull, Ferrari, Mercedes, McLaren, Aston. And then you're looking for someone to claim that sixth place. Um, yeah, I believe Racing Bulls will get that sixth place, but they need to up their game a bit. Um, yeah, just need to get the basics in order. Good strategy, because in qualifying, it's been okay. But yeah, the races is where you get the points. Sunday is points day. And Racing Bulls, I did expect more, I've got to say. Honestly, they've been my biggest disappointment this season. And I've got to say, I'm expecting points in Australia. We said, Lewis, I expect a response in Australia. Well, they've got to get on the board. Daniel Ricciardo's home race. Hopefully, he can have a good race. And Sonoda has just got to keep doing what he's doing. Because at the minute, he started the season well. Doing well against Ricciardo. And that's what he needs to do. But yeah. Comment down below your thoughts on your biggest disappointment this season so far. I've got to say Racing Bulls. Yeah. Just the overall package. I thought they would be very competitive. And they have been in qualifying. But not so much in the race. Uh, thanks for the support recently. Been absolutely insane. The Lewis Hamilton video was popping. Um, and the... Video yesterday was popping. F2 uh, not getting promoted. Absolute disgrace. Comment down below your thoughts on the biggest disappointment. Adios.